Now, I know some of you guys out there are thinking, come on, Krish, some of these police officers kneeled with the protesters. So that's got to be something, right? That's good. That's nice. And that, my friends, uh, is what we in the revolution call copaganda. Mm. Mm. Yeah. 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 A day later, these cops were violently attacking protesters on the same grounds that they feigned their solidarity. For those of us with actual experience covering police killings and public outrage, these take-a-knee actions were clearly nothing more than a coordinated PR campaign. Don't believe me? Consider the fact that the same police department in Buffalo, New York, which was photographed taking a knee on June 3rd, was responsible for this incident just one day later. Those cops shoved a 75-year-old peace activist to the ground and let his head bleed out in the same exact location where they'd taken a knee just 24 hours before. Then you have people uh, like Sheriff Swanson in Flint, Michigan, you know, where he's talking about people who put their batons down. Uh, so here's that. We want to be with y'all for real. So I took my helmet off and laid the batons down. Yeah. I want to make this a parade, yeah. not a protest. Yeah. You got little ones here, you got dogs, so what's up? So listen, I'm just telling you, these cops love you. That cop over there hugs people. They're turning a protest into a parade. That's what he said. He wants to turn the protest into a parade, which devalues what the protest actually is. Okay, it's a fucking protest, bro. Okay, you see any fucking Mickey Mouse balloons or floats with Disney princesses around you? Huh? Yeah. No. Yeah, right? Yeah. No. No, you don't, because that's a fucking protest, and you best recognize, or your precinct could be the next Wendy's. Okay? <laughs> Cops hugging people just sounds like code for illegal chokehold. That's kind of what it sounds like. Now, Sheriff Swanson, though he sounds nice, is a prison profiteer with a sweet, sweet Midwestern accent. So Sheriff Swanson is the sheriff of Genesee County, Michigan, which is the, the metro area around Flint, Michigan. So Sheriff Swanson's jail uh, is packed disproportionately with black people. Um, almost all of them are confined in his jail just because they can't pay cash bail. That means he would let them out of jail back to their homes and families and schools and churches and jobs and communities if only they had enough cash to pay for their own release. And while these people are, are confined in his jail, Swanson has been running a scheme with a large corporation, Global Tellink, um, worth hundreds of millions of dollars, this corporation. Its entire business model is to profit off of the separation of disproportionately black families. So Swanson has been um, working with this company to create a scheme to profit off of the people in his jail. Um, he gets uh, money uh, for every phone call and video call that people in the jail make um, under this contract to their families. Um, and at the same time as this contract was signed a few years ago, first with another company, a multi-billion dollar company called Securus, which is actually owned by the Detroit Pistons owner, uh, billionaire, um, Swanson um, inserted into this contract provisions that paid him tens of thousands of dollars a year into the budget of the, the sheriff and the county um, and gave them extra money for every um, phone and video call that people wanted to pay to keep um, in touch with their loved ones. And around the same time, um, Swanson's office canceled all in-person visits um, with people and their families. So you now have to pay if you want to see and talk to your family. You can no longer hug your child or, or or visit with your family for free. You have to pay Swanson and this company if you want to communicate with their families. In the world of therapy, uh, there's a there's a term that uh, that people use when you're in an abusive relationship called breadcrumbing. It uh, it likes to describe how abusers want praise for doing the smallest and menial of tasks, right? Like, like you get a gold star for not setting the kitchen ablaze on purpose. Huh? Which is like, just don't set the kitchen on fire, maybe. That's just something I think we all should just do. Don't set kitchens on fire, right? Like, at least- You're it, supposed it, to do. Yeah, yeah. Contained flames, not, you don't, I understand you need to cook shit. But these cops doing the bare minimum by not firing projectiles at protesters for like an hour and now all of a sudden, they want everybody to love them and praise them for it. When it comes to propaganda, there are no good cops. 
Propaganda also exists in the way that uh, the, the media portrays cops in our society, right? In the media, cops are portrayed as uh, these cool and hilarious folks and they engage in hijinks while keeping us safe, you know, from us. You have cops like Axel Foley and John McClane and the whole cast of Brooklyn Nine-Nine who are badasses with a heart, you know? That's how we see them. Cops even co-opted The Punisher, who is a comic book character that was created out of the frustration regarding the corruption and ineptitude of law enforcement. They turned his logo into the symbol for the thin blue line, which is also what you call a cop's penis. Frank Castle has beat the shit out of cops because they were bad people abusing their powers. And the creator of The Punisher was so upset about the bastardization of his logo by the true bastards that he came up with a new line of logos supporting the Black Lives Matter movement, which Frank Castle 100% would. He would definitely support this movement. If you can't read the, uh, the, the little comic panel, it's, uh, the guy he's holding upside down says, but I'm a cop. And Frank says, congratulations. So yeah, it's not a logo to be used for cops. Hey folks, uh, thank you so much for checking out this, uh, this video. Thank you very much for tuning into this channel. If you enjoyed the video, uh, if you like what you see here, please give it a thumbs up and share this out with whoever you think would benefit from this. Share it with your friends, your family, your enemies, whoever you think needs to, to, to watch uh, content like this. And uh, I'm also gonna be doing uh, live virtual stand-up comedy shows via Zoom. Uh, called the Citizen Revolution Comedy Shows. There, uh, tickets are available for those right now. Uh, you got to get your tickets, and 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 you got to get them as soon as you possibly can. Uh, for two reasons: one, that's how I'm going to be able to communicate the login information to you guys. That way, we don't have any unwanted visitors showing up in the uh, in the virtual theater, the Zoom virtual theater. Uh, and, uh, and and I'm just one man, and it's very difficult to keep track of uh, a bunch of different people that I need to give tickets out to. So uh, that's how I'm going to be able to communicate the, the login information as efficiently as possible. The second reason to get them quickly, too, is because there are limited spots uh, and half the ticket sales are going to help a uh, grassroots organization, venue, journalists, uh, and so on and so forth. Every every single week, it's a brand new show, and every single week we have a brand new grassroots organization or venue or journalist or, uh, that uh, we are going to be donating half those ticket sales to. So, um, if you want to be a part of that, uh, please get those tickets as soon as you can. And uh, you can you can make a one-time donation, you can or you can become a sustaining member. Uh, by going to my website, krishmohan.com as well, K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N.com. Uh, you, uh, you can become a sustaining member via Patreon uh, over Bandcamp or directly on my website. That gets you free tickets to some of these live virtual stand-up comedy shows. It gets you unreleased stand-up comedy material. It gets early access to uh, my web series, Forkful of Noodles, the extended big long episodes of, of that. Um, you also get, if you miss a Citizen Revolution show, don't, we got you. We're, we'll, we put those up for our patrons and uh, our sustaining members to check out. So I hope you guys can, uh, if, you, if you have the ability to make a donation, you do. If you have the ability to become a sustaining member, that you do. But the important thing is to make sure that you like, share, and subscribe to this stuff because content like this often doesn't get shown to the maximum number of people. So I depend very much on you guys to get the word out there. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate all the people that do tune in, uh, that have become patrons, that have made donations, that buy these tickets. You guys are fucking awesome. Uh, it's it's sure as hell helping me out, uh, uh, you know, in in this tough time, and uh, and it's helping me continue produce these shows uh, at the at a, at a higher quality than um, than before, and and keep pushing uh, to create to create these these videos to the best of uh, to the best of my ability and add you know, the, the, the cooler bells and whistles to it. Um, I'm the only person that works on these shows. I'm, I'm doing all this stuff. So uh, every every little bit, every, every sustaining member and every ticket sale totally, totally fucking helps out. Um, and I appreciate the hell out of it. Thank you so much. And we'll see you at the next video.